And a very good morning to you. This is the Talk of the Town. My guest this morning is Dr. Hema Kumara Nanyakara uh, from that wonderful family where the uh, Mahagedara is a uh, haven uh, of strong democracy. Uh, but uh, still, Dr. Hema Kumara Nanyakara is the uh, senior leader of the Maubima Janata Party and uh, he also knows a thing or two about agriculture. Good morning to you, Dr. Hema Kumara. Good morning. Now then, uh, you know this this drought going on. Parts of the country have got no water. The farmers are up in arms. The electricity people say, oh, "Look, if you give them the water, then you're going to have uh, power cuts." Then, of course, they come with that age-old story: we need to buy emergency power. God knows if that's all true, because you know they've been using emergency power for 27 years, and uh, they could have sorted that out. Right. Still, talk about the drought. I mean, I'm told it. 42% of the crop is going to be affected. So That's what do we do about this drought, uh, Dr. Hemukumar? Now, this drought is a byproduct of El Nino action, mm. which is uh, a phenomenon which comes once in two years, three years or six years. Mm. But we should have known the predictions would have come well in advance for the government to act on this. Mm. Uh, now, countries like India they are not going to export any more grains and some other food items, they have completely stopped exportation. Because? Because they have to feed their own, own people, people, countrymen. Right. And here, I don't know whether we took any actions of that sort. And we should have had a big food drive and the food reserves in the in right uh, volumes mm. uh, well in advance. We were not prepared. There's a organization called Monitoring Committee of the drought. Mm -hmm. They publish a bulletin also. Mm. Uh, they, that is Agricultural Drought Monitoring Committee. And they get uh, the multi-source uh, satellite data to monitor this. I'm sure they would have given the information to the people, the high-ups mm. or the rulers. Mm. I don't know whether the rulers didn't do anything or the, the monitoring committee didn't give the information. I don't know mm. what has really happened. And the UN Food Security Monitoring Committee has said 900,000 people in Sri Lanka will face food insecurity if this continues like this. Mm. So immediately, wherever we, do, we get rains or wherever we have groundwater, we must start a big grow more campaign and have food reserves not only for this year, even for the next year. But the government seemed to be uh, almost blasé about this. You know, we have a vast land bank that is controlled by the government, yeah. and uh, Sri Lanka is steeped in bureaucracy. The RPCs, the regional plantation companies, they, uh, I know they have leases, but I think they're like 33 years uh, leases given some time ago. And so the incentive isn't really there for them to grow. Um, unless, of course, they get longer leases so that it makes financial sense for these companies. Yeah, the leases could be. I also believe the leases should be extended. But the thing is, most of the companies have not paid their lease rents to the government. And government is not taking any action. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I really can't understand why this government is in need of money. Some companies have not paid their lease rent to the government. And they don't go for replantation programs. They just rip off whatever the profits. I'm not leveling this uh, accusation against all the companies. I'm talking some. about some companies. Yes, of course, yeah. Well, it seems to be a perennial problem with this, this collection because, you know, we have all sorts of uh, jolly taxes. Right. But uh, we had an official from the Inland Revenue who told us that uh, after uh, the giveaway, uh, reduction taxes under President Gotabe, uh, they had 1.5 million files and it came down to 450,000. That's right. So <laughs> I, I don't know if, you know, countries, uh, cash-rich countries like Saudi Arabia and, and the Gulf countries, whether they, even they can do this sort of thing. True, they can do this. So basically, what are you saying? The solution to this drought effect is what? Wherever the rains are experiencing, wherever the groundwater is available, I think we should go pell-mell in cultivation and animal production. If we don't do this, there'll be hunger in the country 
if we don't produce we'll have to pre- perish produce, produce or, or perish, perish. Yeah. that sounds like a yeah. good slogan yeah Dr. Emma Kumar Nanekar, it's been wonderful talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, that's the way it was on Talk of the Town this morning. It's now back to the studio with Dom Asanka. Thank you.